Hi everyone! So in today's class, we are going to break down the propose or bakasana. This is a propose. So this is a how-to video on how to do the crow pose or bahasana. We are going to break down the efforts needed to get into that shape. So in um, bahasana or in crow pose, um, there are a lot of um, things happening at the same time. And oftentimes people will um, think that a lot of it is strength. There is a strength component but the big part of it is also all of the, um, the muscular efforts um, that has to happen at the same time, okay? So I'll break it down first, okay? So yes, you're balancing on your arms, but the big part of it is the pushing, okay? So there's that pushing factor. And in this particular arm balance, you want to be as compact as you can so that when you lift up, okay, you start to press your legs in so we are going to work our inner thighs as well. So the best way to um, put all the efforts together and to experience bahasana or crow pose is lying down. Okay, so we'll go ahead and lie down first. Now I would say this is one of the um, sort of the easier ways to uh, break down bahasana. Um, of course, uh, we don't have to um, be afraid of falling down on our face. Okay, so that's why we'll try it first lying down. So in uh, Bahasana, the shape that you are, we are going for is this rounded shape. Okay? So what you'll do, you widen out the knees, bring the arms okay, inside, okay, and maybe toes touch. And this is essentially our um, Bahasana or Kropo shape on our back. Okay? And then if you notice, my upper back is really rounded. So this is where the pushing power will come in. And then later on, we'll try to look forward slightly. That will help with the balance. Okay? And then to maintain um, being comfortable with sort of that seesaw effect, what will hold us up is the effort of your knees hugging in and your arms pressing out. And then later on, um, we'll start with our toes down on the mat. And then we'll try to lift one foot up. Maybe follow for the other foot, and then maybe both feet will lift away from the floor. Okay, so we'll give it a try. So what you need for this setup, um, you can use a bolster or a um, stack of pillows if you like for the front. And this is really for, um, uh, if this is your first time playing around with this pose, um, this can help manage the the fear of falling forward. I have fallen down so many times and it's nice to have a soft landing. Okay? So one thing about falling forward that can also help teach us um, when we start to balance on the hands, when we're trying to push forward a little bit too much and not using our brakes, which will be our hands, or if we're not lifting our butt up too much. Okay. Now, um, I'll show it first with the blocks, and actually this is also how I learned um, with the arm balance. So if you um, have the luxury of having yoga blocks, then you can play around with the block height. Okay? You can stack as many blocks as you want. If you don't have the blocks, then you can use a um, stack of books to help you, to help you with it. So what I did, uh, what I did is I um, stack my blocks so that when my arms are behind, my hands are behind, and I try to lean forward, notice that the blocks will catch my shoulders. Okay. So this is the height that is su suitable for the for my length of the arms. Okay. So we're already set up. Okay. <laughs> So you come to this uh, tumalasana or this squatting position, okay? And then, like when you're lying down, you want to make yourself as compact as you can. <clears throat> See how much you can bring your um, arm in, okay? 
So in this case, if you can bring your um, armpit or shoulder right in by the knees. And then we'll start to spread the fingers wide. You can come up onto your tepitos, okay? And then maybe go ahead and then let your shoulders land on the blocks. And then from here, so essentially the blocks are carrying my weight. And then maybe lift one foot up, followed by the other foot. And then see how this feels first. Okay. So getting used to that leaning forward. Okay. Maybe even letting your shoulders rest on the block. Lift one foot, lift the other foot, lift both feet up. And then come back down. Okay. Now I know the, the challenge is the lifting up and the reaching forward. So using um, the blocks can help um, build that relationship. Okay? So again, press the hands down. Okay? So see how much you can get your arms in, in between the legs or in between the knees. And then as you lift up, okay, notice that's already, that there's already this sense of reaching forward as I bend my elbows and then lifting the legs up. And then you want to squeeze the thighs in, maybe look forward slightly, and then come back down. Okay, so this time let's try it without the blocks. So know that there's um, a lot of effort needed um, to hold, well, not just any of the unbalance, but any of the shapes uh, and asanas in yoga. But know that also you can um, face it with um, what's very comfortable for you. So for me, I prefer to have a soft landing. So I like to have the bolster here in front. So that again, if in case I fall forward, um, there's the pillow to catch me. Okay. So again, to set up, okay, come into um, this squatting position or into malasana. Okay bringing the arms in, and then start to hug the thighs in. So you want to keep that hugging in effort as you start to lift up, okay? Keep the thighs hugging in, keep pushing away from the mat, okay? So upper back will start to round, maybe lift one foot up, lower down, lift the other foot up, and then maybe play around with lifting both feet up. And then, oops, be comfortable with movement, okay? and then lower down so notice that for me to be able to stay lifted i would actually push down on my fingertips and the fingertips are my break when i feel that i'm uh, reaching forward too much i press down on my fingers to break and then keep pressing up okay, let's try that again okay get into this compact shape hugging the thighs in Wash away from the mat, okay? And then when you're ready, lift one foot or the other foot, maybe both, maybe balance, and then slowly release. So play around with it a couple of times, and then I hope you'll be able to um, float up. Namaste. So I hope you um, had fun playing around with crow pose. Um, there's usually a lot of um, fear, maybe sometimes anxiety, facing arm balances. So I hope this tutorial um, helped you or at least made it a little bit uh, friendlier for you to um, play around with Bakasana. So I would like to thank you for watching. This is Every Yoga by Jo and Daya, sharing everyday yoga for everybody.